Hello, dear friends. This is Ewell Humphreys. I want to share another word with you about a 10-minute message that I've entitled, What About Your Body? We're made up of, of spirit, soul, and body. Our bodies are important to us, but we need to realize that they're very temporary. They just don't last too long. I'm 93 years old, but it doesn't seem too long that I can look back when I was just a child. Life is, is short at its longest, but praise God, life is dear to us and our bodies are important to us. We need to know something about our bodies. Number one is that they're going to be changed. Our bodies are going to be changed one day. When Jesus comes back, he's going to change these vile bodies. If we're alive, it'll be, we'll be changed immediately in just a few seconds, and we'll be translated according to the scripture. If we have died and our bodies are in the grave, the Bible says we'll come out of that grave and we will be changed, and we will receive the immortal, eternal body like unto Christ. The Bible says in Philippians, the third chapter, our conversation is in heaven, from whence, whence we look for our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change these vile bodies and make them and fashion them into like unto his own glorious body. And so when Jesus comes back, he's going to change these bodies. Or when we come out of the grave, he's going to change these vile bodies and make them, fashion them like unto his own glorious body. And his own body is eternal. Max Licato in his uh, book on grace says that the very hour we were born is the hour we're beginning to get older. And that's true. And we get older as we grow until finally, after a few years at the longest, we'll go on to meet God. And so it's important to know that we're going to have a body like unto His. And that's a wonderful thing. I thank God for that. I'm praising God for that. I thank God that it's going to be a wonderful body. The Bible says over in Revelation 21, when we stand before Him in that day as Christians, He will wipe away all tears from our eyes, and there will be no more death, neither sorrow, no more crying, and, and uh, no more pain. All these things are passed away. And so it's going to be a wonderful thing. We'll have a glorious body like unto the body of Jesus, our risen Lord. A body that will never know any fear or pain or worry or distraction or depression. <coughs> Excuse me. It will be a brand new body fashioned like unto the body of Christ. Praise the Lord for that. I praise God. Amen. I can't run around the block like I used to, but I can still walk. Hallelujah. And you know the Bible says over in Isaiah in the 40th chapter, verse 39, 31, it says, uh, They that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk, walk and not faint. Well, praise the Lord. I'm not running right now, but I'm still walking. And praise the Lord for that. May the hand of God be upon us as we think about our own bodies. That's so important while we're here. Our own natural body is important to God, and it's important to others. It should be to you. And the Bible says over in 1 Corinthians 6 chapter, it says, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? The Spirit of God dwells in you. That's Jesus Christ. He dwells in you. And He and the, and the Spirit are one as He and the Father are one. And so you have the Lord God dwelling in you, dear Christian. That means you're safe. That means you're strong. That means you're going on. That means you're going, never going to lose. You're going to win. Because God is in you. God is with you. And He's going with you all the way. Depend on Him. Trust in Him. Know He's there and He's going to help you get through. You don't have to worry about anything when God's driving. He's going in the right direction and He's going to the right destination. So hold on and keep going with Him and know that all is well. Do the best you can, but 
Oh, do it all by depending on the Lord to do what you cannot do. And so it's important. Hallelujah. Over in the book of Romans in the 12th chapter, in verse 1 and 2, it says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you that you uh, submit and and present your bodies a living sacrifice to the Lord. Present your bodies a living sacrifice. When uh, when the Hebrews brought to the sacrifices to Moses in the Old Testament, they brought him to the high priest, and and the the animal was killed, and the blood sprinkled on the on the altar, and uh, the priest would pray for for them for their forgiveness. And it all pointed toward Calvary, toward the cross. And now we, he, Jesus gave his life for you as a sacrifice. Now we're to give our lives to the Lord as a living sacrifice. Not dead, but alive, but living for him as best we can. God bless you, dear friend. God loves you and the Lord's with you. He's going to see you through. You're going to make it because God is with you, and you can't lose when God is with you. You're going to win. Take your time. Be, be time. Be, be faithful. Don't give up. Just keep looking up, and keep going on, and keep trusting the Lord, and you're going to get through. Amen. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You're not your own. You're bought with a price. The Lord Jesus has bought you, and you belong to him. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mow me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, yielded and still. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Hold o'er my being absolute sway. To fill with your spirit till all shall see. Christ only always living in me. Praise the Lord. God bless you, dear friend. God keep you close to him. He loves you very much. Pray this prayer with me if you're not sure that you've been forgiven and your name is written in heaven. Just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. I believe he paid for all my sins. And I believe he's coming back again. Come in my heart. Help me live for you, Lord Jesus. Amen, amen. Now find you a good church and worship God with his people. Amen. And you dear Christians, God loves you and I love you. Amen.